Concorde 2.0 supersonic passenger jet with a top speed of 1,700 miles per hour is ready to be unveiled. It's by Boom Technology. 1,700 miles per hour. What Mach 1 speed, that is the speed of sound, is 767.269 miles per hour. Or uh, if you want that in kilometers per hour, that's 1,234.8 kilometers per hour. So max, the um, miles per hour is 767, and this is going at 1,700 miles an hour. Now, I remember last time I came uh, across Atlantic from New York to uh, Athens, Greece, we were flying close to 900 miles an hour, and that was almost Mach 1. That was pretty good. And uh, obviously that was above Mach 1 speed. So that was a passenger, I think it was a 747 that we were flying, a Boeing 747. So I was really impressed because as you sit there, they have the speed that you're going at. And uh, all right, so this is uh, almost twice that. Now you'll notice that the Concorde is sleek and uh, this one looks better than the other one, the last one that we had. It doesn't look that crunched. At least people can walk in the aisles. Of course, it has to be sleek and narrow, so you have only two seats, one at each window. A narrow, narrow seats, narrow aisles. And at least you can stand and walk in the aisles. That's what's so uh, different about this, thank goodness. Now, we know that they used to land in, uh, from London. We had flights in the past from London to New York. And uh, they were going at about half the time instead of six hours. I think they were taking three or four hours. The uh, seats were very expensive, but of course there were people that needed a fast trip. And um, I think the Concorde, the first Concorde, was stopped because of the unbelievable booming sounds. It was, the sounds were too um, too loud, flying over the residential areas. Now this Concorde 2.0, the uh, successor to XB1 prototype will undergo testing in the coming months. The JET's designers are a boom technology, and this is what they've announced. If successful, the XP-1 will pave the way for the Boom Overture, a proposed passenger jet with 55 seats. The new supersonic jet prototype will be unveiled to the public this October 7th. The industry insiders believe the cutting-edge technology could pave the way for a return to ultra-fast supersonic air travel. Boom Technology is based in Denver. It's raised uh, $141 million up to, down, up to now to build the XP-1. The company has already attached the craft's wings to its fuselage, but its vertical stabilizer and completely landing gear tests flight global reports. Uh, the uh, XP-1 is believed to boast a, tube spe a top speed of Mach 2.2. Uh, 2. 2. That's almost 1,700 miles per hour. The aircraft will not only have room for one pilot, an experienced U.S. Air Force recruit, it will all go through testing at California Mojave Air and Spaceport in 2021. Boom said in a statement, with XP-1, we're demonstrating that we're prepared to bring back supersonic travel for pa passengers, and we're ensuring that the supersonic future is safe and environmentally and economically sustainable. And it said, we've learned that the demand for supersonic has gone even faster than we anticipated. The company's mission statement says, if we can fly twice as fast, the world becomes twice as small, turning far off lands into familiar neighborhoods. So if XP-1 enjoys a successful test flight, Boom Technology will shift its focus to the Boom Overture, the proposed passenger jet with 55 seats. Richard Branson and Japan Airlines have already, already made investments, simple flying reports, and both companies have pre-ordered a total of 30 aircraft, putting them at the forefront when the overture, that is the boom overture for the passenger planes, is ready to take on passengers. Boom expects the overture with an eventual top speed of Mach 2.2 to fly in the mid-220s, and it'll sell for $200 million of, uh, each, so that's not that bad. Customers are all reportedly be set, uh, will be set back $5,000 for each seat on the overture, Blake Scholl, CEO of Boom, Boom Super, uh, Supersonic, said you'll be able to fly Overture for a quarter the price of a Concorde seat or about the same price you'd pay in a business class seat today. So that's the most important thing. Unlike the Concorde, the Overture aims to have oversized windows, but the passengers will not have too much item, time to focus on any special point below 
as the jet will be moving faster than the speed of sound, approximately 17 years since the last supersonic passenger flight, and the wait for the next is almost over. Over three decades, supersonic commercial travel was dominated, as we know, by the Concorde. From what I remember, that was a joint Air France uh, and UK, uh, sorry, British Airways Air France, uh, UK and France joint venture. So the Concorde was considered the pinnacle of luxury air travel. The supersonic plane was known for swiftly shuttling passengers across the Atlantic from uh, London to New York, as we know. That era, a supersonic flight is for the time being over. At the time of Concorde's demise, nobody knew when it would return as high costs and public relations disaster scared Concorde's legacy. The, uh, the fact is the noise, most probably the noise. So this is by Tom Fish on Express UK. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.